What's up everybody, my name's Chance, and today we're going to be playing a new and exciting and fun deck. Uh, an Arcane Adaptation Sarkhan Elf Ball deck. Now you'll notice the name of the deck is Eva's Elvish Dragon. Uh, Y'all know that yesterday I was feeling a little bit burnt on magic, so I decided not to play any. Um, I decided not to at least upload a video, I did still play some. But uh, my girlfriend nonetheless had this deck a while back where uh, she made a whole bunch of elves and a whole bunch of dragons and threw them into a deck. And uh, that's basically just because that's what she wanted to play, right? Well, she came to me yesterday and said, you know, hey, have you tried, tried making a new version of this deck, right? Of her elvish dragon deck, which I'm not going to lie, when she made it two sets ago, I believe, it was, uh, it was a bit atrocious. However, now with things like Sarkhan, which, uh, which makes your dragons a hell of a lot better, it's it's a lot more viable and it's a hell of a lot of fun, especially when you get the combo to go off with Arcane Adaptation and Sarkhan. It is just absolutely awesome. So, we're going to go ahead and hop right into the deck tech or the deck breakdown, but before we do that, I would like to go ahead and remind everybody to leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video and a comment in the comment section for any suggestions on this deck, future deck, or past decks. Um, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. It is free and it does help support the channel and me. And uh, yeah, we try to have fun as always. So, uh, oh, furthermore, we've been partnered with TCG. So, anyone looking to help support the channel, head over there, use the promo code the new Dr. Spilkin for any of your purchases, um, whether it be booster boxes or just single cards, whatever, um, whatever it is, it does help support the channel. So, Moving us right into the deck tech or the deck breakdown, we have four copies of Lana War Elves, four copies of Lava Cool. Lana War Elves is obviously in here for the ramp. Lava Cool is obviously in here for some removal. Then we have Incubation and Paradise Druid. Again, some more ramp alongside Growth Spiral, which also allows us to uh, to draw a card. Then we have Arcane Adaptations, one of the interesting pieces for this combo, right? So. As this enters the battlefield, we're going to choose a creature type. Obviously, we're going to be choosing dragons. And then every creature type that we have, every creature that we have, rather, um, is going to be whatever they are, plus they're going to become a dragon as well. Now, they're not going to gain flying or any of that. Their type is just going to be a dragon. So, However, this means on things like Sarkhan, for every elf we have down, his passive will proc as well, right? So if we have six elves down, and they go to swing in, considering they're all dragons with arcane adaptation, then that's going to be six things dealing damage to each one of their creatures trying to attack. So, really awesome combo there. Furthermore, say we have a lathless dragon queen down, right? And uh, we also have arcane adaptations down. Then every time we play an elf, it's going to count it as playing a dragon. And so we're going to get another 5-5 five, five red dragon token off of each elf we play, alongside off of each... Uh, dragon we play while we have Lathless down. So, Arcane Adaptation just just makes this deck so fun, right? Uh, so yeah, moving us down, we have three copies of Morrowin, pretty staple in most Elf Ball decks, as well as uh, Beast Whisper. After that, we have one copy of Domri, Anarch of Bolas, which uh, helps us ramp, also helps up against uh, control decks, right? Because this says that our creatures can't be countered. Uh, one copy of Varric's Bladewing. Now, I don't have a whole lot of dragons, so if you have, you know, if you have two, three copies of Varix, by all means, you have two, three copies of Demanding, by all means, you have more than two copies of Sarkhan, by all means, play them, you know? If you have, uh, if you have other dragons that you like better than Demanding Dragon, if you like, uh, let's see, let's see, what is it, Skargan Hellkite? Yeah, Skargan Hellkite or Spark Tongue, you know, any, any of those other dragons that you may prefer in the deck, by all means, try them out, um... And if you have more than two copies of Arcane Adaptation, definitely throw it in. Um, at least three copies is what I recommend. Four copies if you really want to be sure you're hitting the uh, the combo. So, but again, this is a jank deck, so don't go spinning your wild cards if you don't already have the pieces. You know, just just let it be. <laughs> so we do have three copies of Beast Whisper, as I mentioned, which is going to help us with card draw. One copy of Demanding Dragon, as we're well, we're playing dragons, and Demanding Dragon is one of the better ones, um, for sure. Two copies of Sarkhan, and I've already kind of explained um, how he works into this synergy. Two copies of Nisa, which is just going to help us ramp, and, you know, hey, if all else fails, we have a Nisa, right? <laughs> she, can, uh, she can very well win the game all on her own. 
We do have a Vivian Reed, which helps out with pretty much everything, right? Draws us into lands, which helps us ramp and get our dragons down, get more elves down in a single turn, all that nice stuff. Um, she works as artifact enchantment and flying creature removal. Fantastic. And if we manage to get her minus eight emblem down, well, we win, right? All of our creatures get indestructible, plus two, plus two, vigilance, trample, like... It's just going to be rough for our opponent. So, And then last but not least, we have Lathless the Dragon Queen, which again, we've already kind of explained, but uh, still, comes down as a 6-6 six, six with flying, has the ability to create 5-5 five, five dragon tokens with flying, and then also has the ability to buff all of your dragons, which in this case is also all of our elves and everything else. So, yeah, Lathless, just a nice, nice little capper on the deck, so... That's going to do it for the deck tech or the deck breakdown, and now we're going to hop right into some matches. Alrighty, here we are in a game one up against Dakuro. Dakuro, I think that's, uh, I think that's correct. Yeah, this is an interesting hand for sure. <laughs> um, I, I think we'll keep it. I like seeing the arcane adaptation, I'm not going to lie. Usually if I see it in my starter hand, um, I'm keeping it. Though I got a be honest, seeing three copies of Sulphur Falls doesn't make me super happy as they're all going to enter tapped. <laughs> Cavalcade. Oh, is this a Jund Cavalcade deck? That's fun. That is super fun. Um, yeah, I mean, the only way we miss out with this Growth Spiral is if we draw into a Land of War. Which, I mean, hell, we definitely could. If we do, I'm going to feel bad. <laughs> okay. So we are now fine to play this Rootbound Crag. I am going to go ahead and play another Sulphur Falls because they intertapped. Um, yeah, that's a Beast Whisperer. Not bad. We're going to have Nisa next turn. Um, there's not really a need to play Arcane Adaptation right now, so unless we draw into a, you know, a Lathless or a Sarkhan... Cast down. That hurts. That definitely hurts. Um, that's okay. Hey, sometimes you just draw right back into it, right? So I'm going to play our last copy of Sulphur Falls. Because these two come down untapped anyway, so. And sure, we could have played one of these uh, untapped and played a Nisa, but I, I like to have a body in front of Nisa. Okay, Paradise Druid. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Um, well, if we do that, we can cast Ar uh, Arcane Adaptation. Do I want to, though? No, I think I'd rather just leave my defenses as is. Um, those tokens and that cavalcade are actually really gonna fuck my Nisa up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's actually enough to kill Nisa. Oh, what? They don't attack? Well, I feel like that was a misplay. Alright, not attacking me? Definitely a misplay. Ooh! Nice. Okay, um... So here's the thing, we're definitely going to go ahead and get down Arcane Adaptation and name it for Dragon, right? Let's flip this land back out. We can get down Lathless. We can't get down Lathless plus Paradise, which is really what I want to do. That way they don't even have a chance to remove my Paradise, right? Or my Lathless before I at least get an effect off of them on it. So, you know what? I'm actually just going to skip... I know I'll probably have some people mad at me for that. Like, oh, why didn't you play the laugh list? You had the mana. You had plenty of mana. Um, yes, but like like I just said, I want to be able to play the laugh list and get the effect from the arcane adaptation on my Paradise Druid coming down after the laugh list. Um, instead of just playing it and then being like, well, murder that, right? Let's at least get a, get a dragon out of it. Get something. They're looking at my Beast Whisperer. I don't like that. Uh... And all of their creatures have death touch. Yep, that's painful. That is painful. Um, Stop. I will. Enough. This do not destroy my patience. 
do we just give everything to make sure Nisa lives? Can we still cast Lathless? Well, these are forests. This is why I should not have put my forest up here. I should have put some Sulphur Falls and a Hinterland Harbor. Oh, this is so rough. You know what? I think I let the Nisa die. Because if I use my two forests and I have no more forest, then her mana ability doesn't really work anyways, right? So, yeah. Let's go Lathless. And we can still throw down Paradise Droid, but before we do, I want to go ahead and swing in with everything. Get in that damage. And then Paradise Droid, and it should proc the Lathless. Yep. So there's a big old 5-5. Five five. Oops. I hope that the volume is fine. I didn't happen to oops, didn't happen to check it before this match. It looks fun. Um, I know sometimes I mess with it, so yeah, that's lethal for us on them come next turn. <laughs> Decoro realizing that I have 11 damage and flying, just gonna scoop. So yeah, you know, game one very quick, but you got to see uh, you got to see the strength of it very early as well. So yeah, on into a game two. Kalik, or Kyleek. I'm just gonna call him Kalik. That works. Um, oh man, this is such a greedy keep. Just, just so we're all clear. I know, I know. Because <clears throat> we have zero red mana, right? And we're gonna ramp super hard. If we can get some red mana, fantastic. Um. I mean, Beast Whisper isn't terrible. If we can, if we can hit that Beast Whisper onto the Morrowind, fantastic. Bust our Morrowind, gets a card draw engine down. You know, I'm not gonna be mad about that. Sulfur Falls, yeah. So now we just need one more red mana, and we have Sarkon, Demanding Dragon. You know, we got our, got our stuff right. Um, now we just need the Arcane Adaptations. Actually, that would be a nice pickup. Some more green mana, it's not terrible. Um, we can go ahead and lava cool the impassioned orator, but honestly, I say we wait. And a Johnny comes down, it automatically goes up to three. <sighs> so, uh, let's swing in with the beast whisper. Yeah, because they're definitely not going to block that. And then we'll just end turn there. Save the lava cool. I wish we could tap Marwin for, for other mana. Incubation and Paradise Druid, excellent in this deck because they, they're super great at solving this mana issue. Hey, looky there, that works. Um, okay, so definitely want to cast this and we still have enough for you know whatever we want there. So let's go ahead and Lava Cool the Ajani. And I think, oh, oh right, we just used the red mana. I'm so retarded. Well, I think it's still good to get out the Ajani while it's low, while we can use the Lava Cool. You know, might as well. Um, and next turn we can go into Demanding Dragon. Yeah, this is a bit rough. Like I said, uh, if you have four copies of Incubation, probably slot them in. Um, I don't, so, you know, just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Let's go ahead and get down Demanding Dragon. Gives us a card draw, so our coin doesn't, so. And we're, we're looking for Arcane Adaptations. Kalik. Come on! <laughs> <clears throat> I haven't even got to the fun part of my deck. This is just... That was just ramping into a dragon. Alrighty, well, on into a game three then. GKSB. Gonna be our next foe. <laughs> if one of those steam vents could have been green mana, I would keep this in an instant, right? This is such such a risky keep. Man, nah, we're gonna mulligan it. <laughs> I guess we'll keep this. The la the last hand was literally just missing a green source of mana, right? That's all it was missing to be good. So, it's very likely that I should have kept that, because now we have a hand that just ramps into nothing. 
And it doesn't even ramp that great because we can't go Land of War turn one. Hey, there's a Nisa. Well, that's something to ramp to, so I'm not kicking it to the bottom for sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're only going to have three lands for her to really, you know, work with, but uh, that'll be okay. Oh, this is going to be painful. Let's go ahead and get down the rootbound crag just in case. Just in case. So what is that? Three, this will be four and five next turn. So should be a turn four Nisa. Goodness, I cannot get any untapped lands it seems. And we're up against Esper. You know what I like to face first thing in the morning? Some Esper net deck super friends. Maybe it's not a net deck. Oh, Teo. Okay, definitely not a net deck. Awesome. All right, I spoke too soon, GK. You have you have thoroughly surprised me. Now the question is, do I just lava cool that and kill his Teo and save the Nisa? Or do I just get down the Nisa, swing in? Uh, at least she can't be countered right now, so I think that is the route that I want to be going. I protect, that which protect, I protect that, which cannot protect itself. Okay, so swing at the Teo. They should defend this here. <clears throat> Nisa, I'm going to need you to stand your ground, right? Just, just don't let a Vraska's Contempt or... Uh, oh, what is that spell that just removes five counters from things? I, I mean, I guess that wouldn't be the world's worst, right? Because it wouldn't kill our Nisa right now, but... Price of Betrayal or something like that? I, I think that's what it is. It it's a It's a mono black card that removes counters. Kazmina. They are going like full blown full blown super friends. I like that. Y'all know that I'm a fan of the super friend. My students are loyal and brilliant. Excellent Kazmina. Excellent. Kazmina is the one that says it costs two extra yeah to target a creature or planeswalker. Okay that's that's a bit annoying but Oh, we should still be okay. Just tap my land of war and all my lands. Use the lava cool to kill the wizard. Ooh, beast whisper though. Hmm. <laughs> I definitely want to go beast whisper, <clears throat> but at the same time, if I go lava cool and kill. The little wizard, then I can just use Nisa, swing at the Kazmina, and make sure they don't that it doesn't persist, right? What if I go Beast Whisperer? I can draw more cards. Uh, let's just remove it. <clears throat> All right, so take out Kazmina. And I'm actually going to just hold on to that Paradise Druid. <coughs> Sorry. Whenever I wake up this early, it always seems like there's a there's a bit of a frog in my throat. Okay, so they're playing four colors. They are, they are playing four colors. Alright, well. Sure. Dove in hand of control. Not, not one that you see too often. Growth Sparrow. <clears throat> well, 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 well. I think we should do it like this. This. Um... Next, next. Use both of these. We don't really need to target them for anything, so there's no reason to take out the Teo. However, Dovin does make our attacks a hell of a lot weaker, so let's go ahead and wipe him. Hmm. 
Next. Oh. Headphones keep tugging on my ear. Alright, and sure, let's go and get down the Paradise Road. <coughs> Into another land. I mean, I guess that's not terrible. Our Nisa is at ult level. However, I think we go one more turn to make sure she doesn't kill herself by putting her emblem down, right? <coughs> Goodness. Goodness gracious. GK, what you got for me? You got a, a play? A little play arena? Don't tell me they, they're about to cast Kaya's Wrath. That would hurt. That would really hurt my feelings. Um, also, if... Sarkhan. Ooh. Stole my plan. So now they can plus one with Sarkhan and actually take out my Nisa if they really wanted to. Um, but considering that's the only thing they put down this turn, probably not, right? <clears throat> so they do that, we're immediately going to kill everything on their side. Like all of, oh my goodness. You really hate my Nisa that much? Huh. Okay. Th that's what they should do. If they go straight for face, then that was really the wrong play. Okay, so they are taking out my Nisa. I mean, sure, trade a Sarkhan for a Nisa. I suppose I understand that. Nisa was very close to her ulti. Well, goodness gracious. <laughs> All of my lands have been check lands this this game. That is ridiculous. Alright, so Yeah. Two are going to Sarkhan. One there, one there. And that's still what? Three, five, seven. Excellent. You don't have any dragons, so I don't have to worry about that. I should hit resolve all. Listen, come on. <laughs> so go next to damage. And let's go growth spiral. Incubation. Well, it's not fantastic, but it does get us some more card draw. Into a forest. Hey, that would have been fantastic. Like, you know, four Hinterland Harbors ago. Ugh. Oh well, it is what it is. We have lethal still on board, right? Nine damage with our lands, two from Beast Whisper, that's eleven. Nico. Uh oh. Uh to the O. Oh. That's a Nico. Just gonna draw a card. Gonna give me the option here. Um they realize if I just go for face, that's that's game, right? Nine? Eleven. Oh. Alrighty, well. GKB getting taken down as well and uh, we'll, we'll go for one more because game two and three were really short so one more game Berlin gonna be our next foe like the Berlin Wall yeah we'll keep it we get to go first we have some removal we have a really big dragon and we have some rampage so we do still need another red source um, but if we draw into a paradise or an incubation then you know Problem solved, as they say, next to combat. You get them, Land of War. You fuck them up. Show them what a real elf is made out of. Elf dragon, I guess. Um, so yeah, just mono white so far. Can't ever be too careful with them, though. So this is going to be enough land next turn for our demanding dragon, which is a bit scary, right? I don't think we attack. If they're if they have things at instant speed and it's mono white, okay, revitalize is fine. I was gonna say most of the time it's either a seal away or a revitalize. <clears throat> Forbidding spirit, merchant. I didn't know you were you were coming to play today. Wait a minute. If I go one two, growth spiral right. And then play my land. I'm not going to use that Sulfur Falls, obviously. And then we still have one, two, three, four, five. So, yeah. Blue, green, draw into another land. That's kind of unfortunate. But either way, then we go Demanding Dragon. And they probably take the five to the face. Yeah. Okay, so that worked out okay. We are drawing at a 
hell of a lot of land, which is unfortunate, but, uh, you know, just something we got to deal with. Karn the Great Creator. I will not lose another friend. I will not lose another friend. <clears throat> well, Karn, I have some bad news for you personally. Meteor Golem. That's scary. Arcane Adaptations. Um, considering they just pulled out a Meteor Golem, you know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold off on my arcane adaptations right now because I definitely don't want them to get a whiff of what we're doing right and just kill my arcane adaptations. That would be super unfortunate. Um, to lava cool their forbidding spirit or not? I think sure. I think sure. And I really do want to go arcane adaptation, but again, if they just meteor goal on my arcane adaptations before I get any use out of it, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> Ixalons, on demanding, sure. Oh no. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the flood. Oh, this is so rough. I mean, on the bright side, it does mean that if we draw into a dragon, or like a Lathless or whatever, we should have enough mana to play Arcane and the Lathless. But we wouldn't have enough to play Arcane, the Lathless, and a creature, so... You know. Just just give me a Sarkhan. I'll be okay with Sarkhan. I can get down the Arcane Adaptations. These Lana War will turn into some laser beam shooting dragons. Um, unless, you know, that happens and they just clear my board. Oh, this is so fun. God damn it. Come on, Magic Arena. I am working my ass off here to play a fun deck against this mono white control shenanigans. Just absolute shenanigans. And you're not you're not helping me. You're just giving me lands. <clears throat> I appreciate the sentiment, you know. The game saying, hey, I want you to be able to cast your stuff whenever whenever you get it, man. That's it. Don't get mad at me. But it's like I need stuff to cast, right? Behold. Behold! Maybe I should have thrown down Arcane there. Maybe I don't auto-pass. Oh, it's already got to the end. Okay. <laughs> if you stop it quick enough, um, you can actually, you know, stop it in your second main phase. I, however, was not quick enough. So that's unfortunate. Could have gotten down Arcane there. Of course, I guess... Uh, almost doesn't matter what we draw into next turn. We should have enough land for Arcane plus it, so. What you gonna do? Oh, Fencer. Oh, Fencer. Come on, Karn. Let's for a Spyglass. Surely they're not gonna choose Arcane Adaptation. Surely they're not gonna choose Arcane Adaptation. Sarkhan, what? Activated abilities of sources with the chosen name can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. Oh! Hmm. So, like, my... My, uh... Yeah, my Sarkhan is useless. Cool, cool. Um, the passive ability still works, though, right? Is that right? Passive ability still works? We'll see. Arcane, come on down. It is your turn to play the game of Can We Shoot Laser Beams? Alright, Drago. Smash face. Get in there. Do some damages. Now, the great thing about this dragon is uh, Blast Zone won't hit it. <clears throat> Can't hit it, actually, because it always starts with a counter on it, right? And dragons, or token creatures, rather. Oh, oh no! What? <laughs> you don't have an arcane adaptations right there, right? It seems a bit more effective. Um, yeah. Wow, sorcerer spyglass is a bit of a bitch, right? That's kind of annoying. Well, maybe we'll still get to shoot some laser beams this this game. I doubt it because they've literally played nothing. Meteor Golem coming down on our 4-4. Four, four. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we're flooding. Right back to this. <sighs> you know what they say. It wouldn't be a good magic video without a little bit of a flood. God Pharaoh statue, sure, sure. Hey. Nisa, that works. Um, I'm gonna be a smart cookie and not throw my forest up this time. Yeah, so I really wish, um, we are gonna go ahead and swing, and I don't care if they trade the meteor golem here. <clears throat> really wish we could get rid of that spyglass. Our Sarkhan could make this a quick and easy game, if only, if only. The woodpecker saw was a something is something. Y'all ever seen holes? Shia LaBeouf early career. Yugen, you know I gotta say, Esper control annoying. This stuff is really fucking annoying. Hey, lava coal. You think just because I don't get to play creatures, you do? No, 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 <laughs> no. Not how it works, buddy. Who can play at this super annoying ass removal game, right? Another Yugen. Yugen. Excellent. Fantastico. Holy shit at the flood. Roll up your pants, ladies and gentlemen, because it's flooding. Okay, so we're obviously we're gonna need to put some arcane or some arcane, some artifact enchantment planeswalker hate in this deck of some kind to help us deal with uh, well this this wonderfulness, right? This is certainly annoying. All all I really want is is to show y'all the arcane adaptation laser combo with Sarkhan. So if we can get to that, I'll probably go ahead and concede this game because the first three games went excellent, right? But I really want to show the combo, so for the sake of the video, um, we will persist. Land of War, I, I don't care that it costs so much, you know, it still works with Arcane plus this Archon, so let's get it down into another land. <laughs> Holy Shiza. Holy Shiza. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't really know. I feel like we've already lost this one, but at the same time, you know, I want to try this. Settle. <laughs> sure, let's get out some more lands. <clears throat> Alright. It's their turn. They have an attacker. Let's Let's finally show the combo, and then we will concede against this <laughs> this uh fun deck. I'm actually I'm I'm fairly sure a lot of y'all would find this mono white deck fun. Y'all like to have some jank control decks, that's for sure. Um not really my cup of tea because it's just like constant removal and not playing too much of your own stuff. But uh Maybe it's a mono white super friends deck. Maybe that's what they were going for, right? Because they've played a shit ton of planeswalkers. Either way, <clears throat> they will attack. Arcane adaptations will go off. Then we will concede. <laughs> and y'all can just use your imaginations to see what it would look like with a full board, right? So, Sarkon, Lana War, boom, boom. And I guess it just doesn't deal damage to Gideon. So yeah. No blocks. Hit me in the face. We'll see what we draw, and then we will more than likely dip out. Because like I said, this game's this game's over. Growth spiral. <clears throat> okay. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, yeah. This game's over. 
Uh, well, maybe not necessarily. They swing in with the Gideon. We kill two of theirs. It's just the Gideon that's going to be the difficult part, right? Oh, well. Fuck it. It was a fun game. I'm not going to trudge through the rest of it, but uh, you all got to see the combo right there. The arcane adaptation does work with elves plus Sarkhan. So, shoots the lasers. Has, uh, has some fun times. So, we won the first three games, no problem. The last game, we got, we got controlled. We got our asses controlled, pretty much. But, uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, enjoyed? I'm sorry, I can't speak. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. And as always, I'll either see y'all later tonight or tomorrow. Peace.